tactics, Peter Reid the other one, but that's the team that Howard Kendall wanted to announce. Bobby Mims obviously continues in goal for the injured Neville Southall. Now Liverpool, by contrast, have absolutely no FA Cup final experience among their 12. And, and talking about an athlete on the other side, Ian Rush, he'd never win a Mr. Universe competition, that's a certainty, but uh, he's like a greyhound. He has lean, hungry, uh, no spare flesh on him at all, and he's scored, of course, 30 goals in four out of the last five seasons for Liverpool. Well, somebody at home is bound to have spotted it, Jim. Now, there might be a bit of a test for Mountfield in the early stages with this... Uh, knee scare and Rush comes in Beglin Mulby, Beglin Whelan to Rush Mulby there's Reed. Stevens and Hansen. Lynn. Russian Ratcliffe, who tend to share a room when Wales are away on international duty, but they're very much up against each other today. Begman looks for McDonald, who's got in here, and it was a good thing to think about there. Dalglish, it's quite a gusty win. And a good length on the kick there, and Mims is coming to meet Rush. Nickel. Found the stick. And it'll be used in Football League matches next season. Lawrenson. Away from Sharp. Ratcliffe. Rush to Mulby, pass to Lawrenson, and then that was a catch against uh, Manchester United. There goes Johnston, here comes Ian Rush, circumstances, but uh, they weren't happy again today. You wouldn't want him for your bank manager, John. <laughs> Here's Doug Leash. Johnston. Rush! So a heading opportunity at either end for the number nines, Jimmy. Yes, and I think both would have gone on more confidently if they were aware, you know, that the ball wasn't going to blow with the wind. He was underneath that. It came in very fast. There it is. Made a good attempt to get above and get the ball down. Just shoving Lawrenson. Now Rush trying to get in behind Ratcliffe. Nickel. Donald. Nice turn, rushes in the centre. It's mostly going through the centre and through midfield. Here's Rush. Dalglish on the left offside. Johnston. And here's Dalglish. Tackle by. Here's Mulvey for Liverpool. Rush. Try to flick it back to. Dalglish. Now all the craft of Kenny Dalglish is required now for Liverpool to come. McDonald. Here's Dalglish. Little back heel. Gary Stevens. Donald. And Rush. Blocked by Ratcliffe. One Welshman denying the other. And now Rush. Dalglish. Two chances he's had on the wing there, and muffed them both, really. This is Rush. Beglin. Beglin. Rush. Oh, and Ratcliffe this time has to turn the ball out for a corner. That was Nicola away from Sheedy. Rush on to Mulby. Last minute of the first half, Liverpool on the attack. Whelan is out wide. Mulby. 
Nice little ball for Ian Rush. Onside. Waiting for like scoring more goals. Not, I think possibly Liverpool will score before the end as well. I don't see it being staying at one. Well. You have to go back to 1912 to find one in the FA Cup final. Liverpool then have it to do in the second. Mountfield staying shoulder to shoulder with Rush there. But put his hand up afterwards. Just that. McDonald's taken a very quick free kick, and here's Rush. Ratcliffe is with him, and it's Dalgleish. Seems unfair to single out Grobelar's error. Here's Whelan. Mulby. And here's Rush onside. In Rush. Goal. The referee was not over in the excitement, but Ian Rush has equalised for Liverpool. 57 minutes, and Jan Mulby put a little ball through here. They beat the offside trap. Rush went round Bobby Mims, and it was over the line without Johnson having to follow in. He took the keeper beautifully, and Liverpool have never lost a match in which Ian Rush has scored. More of that in a moment. This is Del... Here comes Mims. It was, uh, just for the record, it was uh, Russia's 32nd of the season. Here's Rush. Dalgleish is up, so is Mulby here. Dalgleish, no Johnston, yes! 2-1 to Liverpool! Here are the last seven minutes. Ian Rush. Well... Sharp. Sheedy. McDonald. Rush to Dalgleish. It's going to open up again here, and that's Everton are careful, but he's looking left, and there's nobody there for Liverpool. So he went alone, Dalgleish. What a terrific run. Four. Well, I saw those games at Tottenham and Luton, and I've not forgotten what he did. Here's uh, Van den Howe being knocked over by Ian Rush. Header. Now Dalgleish looking for an outlet. Rush was the only possibility. A quarter of an hour to go. 15 minutes of any other period. So, let's see what happens. Here's Rush. Rush. That's a foul. Pat Van den Howe. Oh, Ronnie Whelan. Rush to his left. Nobody else there. Rush. Rush. Oh, well played. But he couldn't take them all on. It was Van den Howe that stopped him. Dalgleish. And Mulby, frustration for Lineker. Rush. Mulby is coming up in support, just behind him. Dalgleish. This is Whelan. That's Johnston. This is Rush. Mulby again. Oh, I say. His vision there was lovely. Whelan. And Dalgley and rushes on the far side. Is this three? It is! <laughs> Ian Rush again. And surely now the double is about to be won. Six minutes from the end. Mims deflated. Liverpool delighted. And Ronnie Whelan involved in the move. There were possibilities either way here. Dalgleish was free the other side, but Rush, with that unerring finish, has scored. There is under five minutes to go, and here's Dal... But score them, they have. 
with Mulvey so instrumental in this powerhouse second half performance by the Reds. Oh dear me, Trevor Stephen there lost his way and Rush Falby tries to get a foot in and Liverpool might break again. There's an extra man here. Dalglish played it beautifully to Rush. Kevin McDonald is free on the far side. Dalglish is on this side. Mulby, Dalglish, Mulby play on. And is Rush going to score a hat-trick? He's four again. Oh, he was just a bit too casual. As the game has gone on, Ian Rush and Liverpool have become stronger in their running power. And Gary Lineker and Everton really have faded in that striking force up front. Isn't that just Liverpool down the years, though, Jimmy? Stronger in the championship race, too, on the final straight. And Liverpool Football Club, under their player manager, Kenny Dalglish, have become only the third team this century to win the First Division Championship and the FA Cup 